Okay, so this is Zephyr uh, on day five, and he's been in the bigger round pin, uh, and he does still have the lead on, but I am able to take it on and off, on and off, so that's really good. So today is a little bit different. I don't have the scary visor on, and I'm wearing a shirt that doesn't have lettering on. So I thought, you know, the session before seemed to be a lot for him, so I really was going to back down today and just kind of build up on a lot of approach and retreat. So I have a lot of weeds in my round pin that have been driving me nuts. So I figured I would just go in for a touch and then go and pick some weeds, which I really kind of liked because it allowed me to be in kind of certain positions and for him to kind of see that I'm not really threatening or anything. So I'm creating kind of my foundation for him to come to a touch here. And I'm finding that he actually likes me to come in by the muzzle or his mouth, which isn't typical. Oftentimes they don't really want you to come and touch their mouth, but that's where he seems to be finding comfort. So I'm going to kind of build upon that. Again, I went and I picked some more weeds and then I'm going to kind of come back and do the same thing. And I tend to also with mine, I do a little whistle when I do my um, cue that I come to touch or I also say come touch and that is also a building block for then when they do worry about something in the future and then I ask them to go and touch. It's basically target training or the beginnings of target training. Um, so I like to use that as the building block. So just seeing if he'll let me get that rope up and around his ears. I'm going to go in from the other side. So again, he's already a bit of a different energy than he was the day before. And I do find that sometimes, uh, you know, in also doing all my videos and watching back, I realize that I don't always give the longer releases that I would like. So. I really did find that um, having that picking the weeds really made me do it. So I'm speeding this up here for you so you can kind of see, so you don't see me picking weeds forever. But just going back and building up on that touch. And again, you'll see that I create the movement and a rhythm as I move. And he's getting much better about me touching his neck. But it's an interesting feeling when you have one that accepts the touch. The feeling is kind of like they're melting a little bit versus when they're still on guard and they're not sure about touch. They turn into kind of like concrete so they get a little bit hard to the touch versus softer to the touch but he's handling this pretty well I have my lead rope a little bit uh, the slack a little bit low um, I should fix that just because if he was to strike, he could get his foot over the rope and yada yada. But you know, hindsight is always 2020, and looking back on your videos, you always get to learn the mistakes that you make. So again, went through, gave him a release, went through picking weeds. And again, I really liked this exercise because one, it, it did a couple of things. It helped clean up my round pin of these stupid weeds that have very thick roots in them. Uh, and it also gets him used to me being in different positions on um, around him. So the crouching and kneeling um, and bending down and around and all those things. So that was really good. So you see I drop his lead rope there. 
I'm going over and grabbing the hairbrush because I wanted to try to brush out his mane today. And he actually is doing a pretty good job now. He's not minding me that I'm moving around and doing different things. So just introducing him to the hairbrush. Letting him get a good sniff. Making sure I give him a longer release. And again, anytime you see me kind of talking back, uh, my working students have their other Mustangs and the other two pins behind me, which you can't see. So we're always kind of communicating back and forth. And sometimes, you know, when you guys can't see, but if their Mustangs do something a little funny in the round pins, that can affect um, Zephyr a little bit. But for the most part, he does a pretty good job of staying focused on me. So that was really good, getting some nice releases there and a little bit of a follow as well. So now I got my pair of scissors because I'm gonna trim, try to trim up his mane. I'm gonna introduce him to the scissors. Again, the slack and my rope is uh, needs to be picked up a little bit. So I went in and I just did a couple of little snips, get him used to the sound, give him the release, and do that same thing over and over. It's kind of like rinse and repeat. There, I finally picked up the slack of my rope. I'm going to brush. Now, you'll notice I can't just go and use two hands. I can only kind of do one hand at a time. If you use two hands, that's that's extra pressure there. Um, and he's not quite ready for that. But I went ahead and gave him that release and spent some time picking more weeds. And then going to come back and see if I can continue. But I figured that was nice to give him a good break. And again, sped this up for you guys because it does take quite a bit of time. And you can kind of see here, his mane's all nice and trimmed. Looking pretty spiffy. And I'm really happy with how nice and relaxed he is during this session. He's willing to drop his head. He's giving me lots of releases. And again, I give him another release here. And I really like how he was thinking about coming in to come and check out the whip. So I have a longer lunge whip today that I was going to work on just work on touching his body again, kind of reiterating. And I like how he's willing to follow without barely any pressure on the rope. And then I was able to go and touch his hind leg. So again, building on touch now, I'm able to touch his bum. And he just gave a little bit of a reaction where he lifted the leg. So I just kind of rinsed and repeated that. Just did it a couple more times. And then gave him a release here by picking the weeds. And now I'm going to work on the right side. Again, touching his bum. He gets a little worried about it on his hiney. 
But I'm going to go back to where he's comfortable and then go back again to where and he is really good about it going all the way down his leg. I was really quite pleased with that. And again, getting him to yield without too much well, hardly any pressure on the halter, actually. And just working on rubbing him with that stick, getting him used to seeing that it's kind of attached to me and it's okay. He's got one ear on me and then got back going down his, to his legs. Handled that really well. And got a nice release. And again, going and touching his legs with the stick and then giving him a release. You could tell he got a little worried when it was by the flank. And then I go to the other side. He's actually very good about that good with it touching boy. his flank there. What a good boy. Yeah, that was very good. I'm gonna stop. And I was really happy with the progress today. You can see he's much better. Working on taking the clip off. And then just working on giving him a little bit of touch without the lead rope on. So a really good day with Zephyr. Oh, he dropped.